Eric Johnson. Well, we do have some new information coming in about the wildfires burning in the region. For the Horse Gulch fire, that is up over 13,000 acres, so 13,432. But the good news on that is it's about 10% contained, and those evacuation orders have come to an end. And then we also have the Miller Peak fire, which has been growing pretty significantly. We're now getting close to 2,000 acres burned, and that ha has zero containment on it so far. The cause currently under investigation. But as we look at the radar right now, we are still tracking a few showers pushing right through Haver. We've just kind of had this band just setting up right over the city. So it's been a wet start to the day, but those showers will begin to dissipate. And then we did have a couple of showers passing through northeastern Montana. But otherwise, it's a mild morning. We are looking at a high pressure ridge over the desert southwest and over the next few days we're going to notice this expanding pretty significantly into the Pacific Northwest and by the weekend we will be looking at very hot temperatures and that will continue right into next week. So again, really not a lot of relief in sight for us here across the Treasure States. But for the rest of this morning, any showers will wind down. And then into the afternoon, we will see a few very isolated showers, this time for western, the western side of the High Line from Cut Bank over to Haver. And we will see wind gusts up around 20 miles per hour today in Great Falls. So not too gusty today. And then into tomorrow, we'll be tracking increase in clouds for the evening. And we could see a few very isolated showers and thunderstorms arriving very late tomorrow evening, closer to midnight. That could come with some lightning and gusty wind. So we will have to watch for some new fire starts. And then those showers will push over towards Haver by Thursday morning. And with those storms, the main impacts are going to be some gusty winds and some lightning. We're not expecting a lot of precipitation to help us out with those fires over the next couple of days. But wind is not going to be too much of an issue today. We will see some wind gusts up around 20 miles per hour this afternoon. That will diminish into the overnight. And then on Wednesday, we could see some wind gusts up around 25 to 30 miles per hour, especially near Cascade County, but otherwise not expecting those winds to be too gusty. The bigger issue we are going to see in southwest Montana is a lot of smoke, and some of that will move right into Helena from the Miller Peak fire, as well as some fires burning off to the southwest in Idaho and Oregon. And we will just see some very thick smoke over southwest Montana, so that could have some impact on air quality. Some of that will shift up towards Missoula on Wednesday. But again, the focus of that will be to the south and west of north central Montana. So that is the good news. But 95 will be your high in Helena and Townsend today. 88 for White Sulphur Springs. So another hot afternoon in the capital region. But 94 for Fort Benton today. 86 in Lewistown. And we'll get up to about 91 today in Great Falls with a lot of sunshine around. And for the high line, either side of 90 degrees. 89 for Chester and Haver. And then for those of you in north, uh, east Montana, we've got high temperatures also in the upper 80s today. And then as we get closer to the weekend, we will start to heat up up to 96 tomorrow. We'll be tracking that slight chance of showers and storms the next couple of days and then a hot weekend ahead.